What is up, Stalin? Stalin Games here, and before I start this video, I know I keep apologizing, and this is my last apology video. <laughs> okay, I keep apologizing. I haven't uploaded a game video in forever, and I apologize for that. <laughs> and the reason why I haven't actually uploaded any game videos is because I'm still waiting for the new adapter for the uh, hard drive. The one that I had, it kind of broke. It was the cable at the bottom of the AC charger. So I need one for my hard drive because without it, I can't power my hard drive, which means I cannot store the videos, which means I do not have any videos to upload to YouTube. All right. So yeah, I can record from my computer, but honestly, who wants to see Game Boy games? Because that's pretty much all I have on my computer. So yeah. Anyway, I'm here to talk to you guys about Jap Corp, and I already have. However, I'm going to go ahead and do a more, do a more in-depth version of the video that I did not long ago. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. First thing I just want to go ahead and say is, if you are going to go to Jap Corp, make sure that you go with a ready mentality. By saying that, I mean make sure that you are going to get what you want and not fool around, right? A lot of people come here with the mentality to fool around and that is not the actual mentality that you need to have, right? You're here to get whatever you need to have a good life outside of Jack Corp, all right? Jack Corp should be a last chance thing or maybe a beginning experience for you because there are miners here that's just trying to begin to get experience in the workforce and other stuff like that. But if you come here to Jackboard, make sure that you're coming with a mentality to actually work and better yourself and not actually horseplay around because there are people here that do that, believe it or not, childish. So, yeah. Now, the thing that I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about first is you have to wake up early. And I mean, six o'clock early. Uh, you can wake up at 5.30 to take showers if you want to, but the time that we all have to be awake is 6 o'clock. If you're not an early person, then maybe Jacob is not for you, all right? because we all have to wake up at 6 o'clock. The reason why we wake up at 6 o'clock is because we have to take showers, we have to get ready for the classes or trade, and we also have to clean. Now, the cleaning part is also part of our dorm duties, basically, which... Everybody has one job, one specific job every week. The jobs change every week for the person, all right? And every week you get something new. It will be the toilet sinks or mirrors. It will be the bathroom floor. It will be showers, hallway, things like that, laundry room. But everybody has a duty to do, okay? And there will be penalties if you do not do those duties and I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about that we have this thing called case notes right you can get either a positive case note or you can get a negative case note you want to go ahead and go for the positive case notes you don't want to go for the negative case notes because trust me you will have a bad time right and that will lead to another thing that we like to call termination which is where they send you home because they don't want to bother with you right now, before they get to the termination, however, they give you chances. They give you what they call a fact-finding board, which is where they grab you and they talk to you seriously because you're here for a reason and you're not here to fool around. So that is their attempt at giving you a last chance in this place and you don't want to waste it. All right, so if you're wasting your time here, if you're fooling around, they're not going to waste your time. But then They're not going to waste their time with you. All right, so make sure that you come here with a mentality to actually work. All right. Another thing we have what we like to call RAs here, which is the residential advisors. They are not your counselors. We have those two. We have counselors. Everybody that comes in has counselors, but they're like counselors for the building that you're staying in. Okay. Their job is to make sure that nobody's fighting, make sure that everything it's actually nice and tight in the building and make sure that everything is in order. And you will have fights because unfortunately people are like that for some reason. They're not here to actually do anything. 
some of them are and if you're one of them then good luck to you i wish you the best but if you're one of them that likes to fool around then maybe this isn't your place and i'm sorry if that sounds kind of mean but i see it a lot okay they'll try to pull you in with all these nice videos but that's the reason why i'm trying to let you guys know what's going on in lc lc is a good place fantastic place the place itself is fine it's the people that make it worse okay the people that actually come here that's what makes it worse okay so don't let your experience in this place be determined by the you know by the actions of someone else all right your experience is your own when you get here anyway back to what i was saying we have ras like i said their job is to take care of the building and you all right so do not be disrespectful to them, and they will also respect you, okay? Another thing, guys, once you're actually done, everybody has to leave dorm. Well, once you're actually done cleaning, everybody has to leave dorm at 7 o'clock. No later, no sooner, all right? Everybody has to leave the dorm at 7 o'clock. Well, you can leave sooner, but yeah, after you do your dorm duties and stuff. But we all have to be out at 7 o'clock. The reason for that is because we have to go and get our breakfast. Okay, now breakfast is from 7 to 7.30 because they have to shut down breakfast at 7.30 because classes start at 7.45. All right, so from 7.30, wait, I mean from 7 to 7.45, that's when, you know, you should be done with breakfast. Or 7.30, you should be done with breakfast. You don't want to be late for class because it starts at 7.45. Okay, now... I already talked to you guys about termination, but let me go ahead into more depth about what that means. Fights. If you walk out of the center, that's another thing I don't like. You cannot walk outside of the job course center here. And I think that's dumb, but at the same time, it's not because the reason for that is people have been bringing drugs here. And I kind of understand why they don't want us to leave the center. Okay. But if you live close, then yeah, they'll give you a permission slip or something to go back to your home if you live close to the job course center. But other than that, you cannot leave without permission. All right. Uh, some people sneak things in and that could get you terminated. All right. Disrespecting people here like the RAs and the teachers. Sometimes that could also get you terminated. But the biggest thing that can really, really get you terminated here if, if you fight and hurt someone. So don't come here with fighting in mind, okay? So understand some of us like to think that we're tough and all that stuff, but just leave that all behind. You know, you came here to better yourself and that's all that really matters, okay? So yeah. Another thing, guys, that we like to use here in the center is sort of a level up system. We call it the face system, okay? Now... Every phase or every level, there's only like, two, three, four, five. should be like five. You start at bronze, then you go to silver, then you go to gold, then you go to platinum. Okay, so that's four. Four. Yeah. But like I said, you start at bronze, which is when you get here. All right. Then when you graduate from bronze, which is when you finish your first class, because you'll be in class when you get in here. Okay. Then... You'll have to give some community service to the center, okay? So you'll actually have to work to actually level up. That's how things work here. You have to do some community service hours to pretty much level up, all right? It takes 15 hours and three positive case notes to level up to silver, all right? And then from there, you will go to gold, which is 20 hours and five positive case notes, all right? And from platinum, all you have to do is to wait like two months. You have to maintain gold phase or gold level, whatever you want to call it, for about two months. After that, then you should be platinum, which is the last level. Now, of course, every level has their own rewards, all right? You get to go to trips. You get to get a job, okay? You cannot work in this center unless you're faced up. So if you want to get a job in this center, you're going to have to work. Okay, and you're going to have to level up, right? 
Now, the last thing I do want to go ahead and talk to you guys about is the tape test. This is actually the first thing that you will do here when you get here, all right? And that is the tape test. And some of you may get mad about this because some of you may say, oh, I already got my high school diploma, I don't need this. Well, the Department of Labor doesn't care if you have your high school diploma because I have my high school diploma and I still have to do it. So what I'm saying is once you get here, they're going to make you take a test called the tape test, which I believe is test of adult basic knowledge or something like that. But what it is, is basically a math and reading test. Okay. It is computer based. So you'll be taking it on the computer. But what you do there is you take a test for your math and reading skills because they want to see where your math and reading skills are. Now, if you score a 12.5, then you don't have to do it again. Okay. If you score like a 10 or like a 9.5, I believe it is, then they won't put you in math or reading classes. But if you score anything below a 9.5, they'll put you in math or reading classes until you actually get that score, you know, up. And I didn't like that because, you know, at first I made the all right, sorry about that, my camera cut off, I ran out of storage on my phone, but anyway, like I was saying, guys, I didn't like that because I already had my high school diploma way before I came here, but a high school diploma doesn't really get you anything if you do not have those skills, okay, so you're going to have to maintain those skills. A high school diploma pretty much just says that you're out of high school, and that that's pretty much it. You know, if you don't have those skills, then you're probably going to have to retrain yourself in those math and reading classes, which is actually pretty good. Now, normally, I'm kind of sick and tired of math. I have been doing it ever since I've been here, which is already a year, okay? And math just doesn't agree with me. I guess you can say that I'm horrible at math. I'm sorry. I'm fine at reading, but when it comes to math, <laughs> I just can't do it, man. I'm trying my best. I'm going to keep trying my best, but, you know, I... I just can't do it, All right, but I'm going to keep trying until I actually get out of the class, okay? But that is it, guys. That is a more in-depth version of this place. The thing that I will tell you guys is do not let anyone here ruin your experience. Your experience is your own, okay? You determine your experience. If somebody tells you their experience in this place, then don't let that determine your experience because I personally have a great time here. Okay, for me, the only problem is the people that I have to deal with because I am what we call a wing leader in my dorm, which is basically the leader of the hallway. And I have to make sure that my people do what they're supposed to. Okay, if they're not doing their dorm duties, if they're not doing you know what they're supposed to, getting up in time, going to bed, in time, then I have to, you know, get on them about it because, hey, we got to wake up early, we got to do our work, and we got to do all that stuff, so, yeah, but I will try to give you guys a more uh, in-depth walkthrough of the center. If you guys would like a walkthrough of the center, uh, just leave a like and a comment down below, and I will try to give you guys a walkthrough. I cannot record people so I do apologize if I make the walkthrough and most of the video footage is me videotaping the ground. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but I cannot record people unless they give me, you know, their permission. I, I do respect people's privacy. All right. So, yeah, but if you do want a more in-depth, you know, look around the center or around my dorm, I can definitely do that. I just won't be videotaping people unless they give me their consent. All right. But if you guys have any questions about this center, just leave them down below in the comments and I will try to answer, you know, the best I can. I will try to answer them as best as I can and all that good, you know, question answering goodness. All right. And if you're wondering about the hat, it's a penguin. Some may say it's an eagle, but I call it a penguin because it is a penguin. Okay. People need to know the birds. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I am out. All right.